Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to import from our SSAS tubular server the project that is tubular project which has been deployed on the server into our SSDT. So for this, first of all, let us go to power pivot excel sheet. Now in this power pivot excel sheet, there is data of four tables. Okay. And Along with this data of four tables, we also have a measure called total sales. Now let's save everything. Let's close this power pivot. Now let's go to SSMS. Now we can see that right now there are no databases in SSS 2014T instance, which is a tubular instance. So now first of all, let us import that power pivot that is restore that power pivot into this tubular instance of SSAS. Okay, so we will go to restore from power pivot. We will have to specify the path of the power pivot excel sheet. So let us specify the path over here. Okay, so this is the path and we will have to specify the name of the power pivot. So copy and this is the name of the power pivot dot okay let's copy it again copy and this is the name of the power pivot right dot excel sx so we have provided the path to our power pivot now restore database so we'll have to provide the name of the database in which we want to restore so let us call it as ssas tabular 2 ok now let's click ok so right now it is importing our power pivot database into our server so let's refresh and we can see SSS tabular 2 has been created right and it has got all the four tables right and if we browse the cube then we will get measure total sales measure over here right which was there inside our power pivot right so we can even filter our data let's say by gender and by marital status right so in this way the cube is complete right and we can even explore the cube we can see the data of the cube right now let's do one more thing now what if we want to add a measure right right now we have got only one measure in it right right that is total sales what if we want to add a measure in this particular uh, cube then for this let us go to our ssdt and let us import this particular deployed uh, database into our ssdt so we'll go we'll go to file new project and let's specify the path right let's call it is call it as uh, as a tubular 2 right so or let us give it the same give it the same name right let's copy this and let's call it with the same name right okay but this time when we are importing directly from our server we'll have to select the last option that is import from server tubular okay so let's click ok now we'll have to provide the path of the workspace server so we want workspace also to exist in this same instance so let's connect to it right and let's provide the path of the same instance right okay now import now it is asking us that where where is the database already deployed so it is deployed in this server instance and which is the name of the database so the database name is sss tab 2 so let's click OK. Right, so now it is importing everything from the SSS server, tubular server, into our SSDT. Right, now it has imported schema for all the four tables, but it has not imported the data. Okay, for this, we'll have to go to model and we'll have to go to existing connections. Right, and we'll have to say process over here. So we'll have to process the data. So now we can see that it is importing data of all the four tables, right? And it has 
imported so let's click close and now we are able to find data of all the four tables inside our ssdt also we can observe that we have got one measure over here so let's save everything and now let us say that we want to add one more measure over here let us say we want to add average sales right so let us provide the formula for it average of internet sales and that too will have sales amount right so now as per this formula we are now having the average sales right so let's save everything so we have added one measure inside our ssdt right so what we want to do we want to now deploy it right so this will be the name of the database ssas underscore tab underscore two and it's matching over here right so it will be deployed on this database right this changes will be deployed over this database and let it be default deployment so that in, it will uh, it deploy the incremental changes right so let's click ok everything is correct and this server instance name is also correct so let's go and deploy this change so right now it is deploying in our server database so everything is deployed let's close and let's go to our server let's go to browse and this time we can see that now along with total sales we also have average sales which is the newly created measure inside our ssdt and if you want we can also browse the data based on let's say gender let's say marital status right so we are able to browse the data also right for the newly created measure which we have created inside our ssdt after importing our database inside ssdt so i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you